Okay, this is a line pattern drawing and also a still life. So here I'm going to show you step by step how to create your pumpkins first. You would start with the smallest one that's in the front of the three pumpkins. So do two little dots. They're so pretty close together. And then you're just connecting those dots with a curved line. And then you're coming out from those two dots, creating more curved lines. Out from there, more curved lines until you have a pretty good pumpkin shape. Add a stem, put a little oval on the end of the stem so it looks like a cylinder shape. You want this pumpkin on the left to be really tall. This is another pumpkin that's going to be out in front. So you want to put those first dots really far apart and then draw curved lines attaching those dots together. It's a really fun and easy way to create a pumpkin and show that it has form. Put a circle oval for the stem and that's showing form as well. So now it's not flat, it's two dimensional, it's three dimensional instead of two dimensional. And now we're going to do the pumpkin in the background. We're going to show overlapping by having it come out from behind the first small pumpkin in the front. You also notice that when I did the dots, they're higher than the pumpkins in the front of it. So if it's pushed back further, it's higher on the paper. And just bring those curved lines down. And then again, don't forget to put a stem on the top. All right, so now we want to put a background. We want to put a horizon line on it. Maybe they're sitting on a table. Maybe they're sitting on the ground. But you want to put a line behind them straight across. So now it's giving it more space, more depth. Also, we're going to put patterns in, so you're going to go ahead and put stripes down. What I did is I did a thin stripe, and then I, the next stripe was a little bit wider. And as I went down the paper, each stripe got a little bit wider. And that's going to show depth and perspective in your artwork as well. So you're going to see space in it. So I started off with thin stripes down to thick stripes. And now we're going to just put some viney, swirly, fun loopy lines coming off of them. Maybe some leaves. And you don't have to copy mine. You can come up with your own kind of leaves, your kind of own kind of swirls, come up with your own designs that are going to be on the table. Uh, this week we're going to draw it completely out, and then next week is when we're going to color it in. So you guys have plenty of time, you don't feel rushed. Now we're going to work on different patterns for the background in the stripes. This is also going to make the pumpkins pop more forward and give the whole art project a lot more space and perspective in it. I started off doing um, more lines farther back than in the front. And you'll see what I mean as you're watching. And do any kind of patterns you want. You do not have to copy my patterns. 
but do a different pattern for each stripe. And there you go, there's your drawing of your pumpkin still life, and we will color it in uh, next week. Great job.